words. You can get books written by a white author, and it's got, they, they even speak some words, they don't even know what they mean. You know, they love words so much, and they just get so, they just get rambunctious with words. They get carried away with words. They get drunk off of words. And then they write the book, and their own people don't understand it. But because the words say, well, yes, he's an artist at words, and they go in and give him some kind of award just for being good with words. But nobody understands the book. Now, see, when you deal in simplicity, it's a different story. Truth has been abolished. So any truth you say is not permissible in here because it's never done anybody any good. Now, I'm dealing with things that can do you some good. Now, I'm telling you what it's going to have to be. You're going to have to be over in another realm and the dimension of thinking because these people are not playing with you. Anything you come up, anytime you bring up a righteous man, they're going to oppose it. Now, words are vibrations. So as you speak words, according to the rhythm that you speak those, those words in, and according to the language that you speak, you will become like that. Everything is throwing out music. This is throwing it out. This is throwing it out. Every object is throwing out music. Why? Because the wind is coming around a certain way. And as the wind comes around, it makes a certain sound. So then I look like folks who get so intellectual and everything and bypass nature, they get left out. But I told you when I first came to this if you got in tune with nature, you can get what you want. But they, they're going to have to respect the fact that they must start thinking about not independence, but interdependence. Dependence. Okay. Interdependence. Self-connected. Self-dependent. 